See, that's stupid. I should have done that, see? I would know better by now. If I'd done those first two, that would have been ten to one. Let's see, that would have been ten to one. That would have been ten pound going on that. That would been twenty quid, wouldn't it? And I had twenty quid. I shouldn't have done it. I should have done the four o'clock. I should have left that one out. I might do that again, I tell you. Conceding a lot, a lot of whiskey, and uh, came out in court. But he was a composite gambler. Oh. So uh, maybe you'd like to see him? Yeah, I'll uh, I'll fix it up without patience. Mm. All right. <laughs> yeah. Mr. Chester, Mrs. Yeah. Chester, if you'd like to come with me. Right. Uh, no, it's okay, Mrs. Chester. I'll call you when you need you, okay? It's all right. Yeah. Should uh, take a seat. Yeah. understand you've got a problem with gambling. Yeah, that's right. I'm, I'm a compulsive gambler. Hang on, hang on. You've been told that? Yeah, that's right. By GA. Gamblers Anonymous. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, uh, they say it's best if you say what you are like. Yeah. Okay, fine. Uh, I'd just like to make clear. I want you to forget everything that anyone else has said to you about that. And I'd like you to start from scratch and don't take any notice of what anyone else has said and tell me about your problem in your own language. Hmm. Well, uh, I bet too much. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm, uh, uh, I'm always in the betting shop, so I can't stay out of filthy places. I'm you know, getting all sorts of trouble because of it. I borrow money, you know, I'm in debt, I have to wear. If I can't borrow money, I'll take it. From the wife, out of her purse. I'm right shit like that. You know, I'm like an animal. And I've got into trouble with the law. You know, I... police nick me. You know, the... that's why I'm here, like, probation officer. I want to straighten myself out, like. Fine. Well done. How's the old love life? Well, well, I, you know, I don't, don't think about it, you know? Just think about betting and that. I don't think about all that, you there know? Isn't, uh, there isn't much goes on. No. And, uh, who's... Idea, is that no, what are you talking about? What's this got to do with it? Well, it might have a lot to do with it. I mean, how badly do you feel about the lack of uh, any love life? Well, 
Don't worry me. Doesn't bother you much? No. OK, fine. Do you feel that, uh People are getting at you at all? Yeah, sometimes, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. People have a go at me, yeah. People don't like me, you know. I don't get on with people. Uh-huh. Not since I've been gambling like them. But people don't like me now, you know. You won't like me. I'll bet you that in two weeks' time you'll hate me. You'll sling me out of here, eh? Yeah, you will. Yeah. I'll bet you. All that. See, I'm betting. I can't stop betting. Whether I like you or not. Might depend on how hard we work together. Eh? True. Just me? Yeah. Where is he? Down there on the right. All right. Yeah, go on. Uh, come here, Mrs. Chester. Try to involve wives, girlfriends, friends, relatives to become co-therapists. To help the, the patient and to help the therapist. Sort of center of the linchpin of our work. How do you feel about that? What would I have to do? Well, it might be something like uh, congratulating him when he does something right, like if we set a task of your husband not gambling for the day, at the end of the day you might say, well done, that's, that's really good, and encourage him, or perhaps cook his favourite meal or something. Well, yeah, if you think it'll help him, but, mm -hmm. well, we don't seem to take much notice of me. Of the old love life. He's not interested. Mm -hmm. He doesn't doesn't miss it much. And do you miss it much? Not anymore, no. Not anymore. Well, that's fine. Okay. Well, that's that's given me an idea of. How you feel? I wonder if I get your husband in, we'll have a talk together, shall we? Is that okay? Yeah. yeah. Fine. Okay. Uh, come in, Mrs. Chester, Mr. Chester. Should you take a seat? <clears throat> uh, pull up a chair. Okay, uh, I'd just like to make clear the sort of method I use, which is we really negotiate what we call a business contract between the three of us. Yeah? And that will be based on a definite goal or target that we would aim for what do you think that should be mm, more smoky now um, I don't know that, uh, that 
doesn't bother me, actually. Does it, does it bother you, Mr Chester? Yeah, she's always smoking. Stinks of nicotine all the time. Uh-huh. You remember, Mrs Chester, we were talking about earlier the sorts of things your husband might like you to do as a sort of a reward or whatever for achieving a task. And there's one thing, an example, like cigarette smoking. I wondered if there was anything else. Well, perhaps I can leave that with you two to think about. If you can both make out your own lists of things you'd like the other person to do for you that's not being done at the moment. Could you think about that over the weekend? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I was about to mention the... Uh, ask you where you think we should start from in the whole treatment. What sort of target you'd like to set yourself? What sort of goal? Well, I suppose I'll give it up. Give it up altogether? Well, yeah, I, I want to. OK, that's good. Now, on that basis, we would negotiate what I call our business contract between us. Uh, I'd like to make clear now that if for any reason you don't turn up for more than... if you miss more than two sessions, or you don't do your homework for more than... Well, twice you miss it. We agree to call it the day. We find that's the way, it, the best way it works. You'd be prepared to go ahead on that uh, basis, would you? Yeah, it's all right. Isn't it? Okay, good. I'd like to, if possible, see you betting at the betting shop. Can we arrange that? Well, <clears throat> yeah, I'll be there tomorrow. Uh, that's a bit awkward for me, actually. Is there another time? No, I'll be there Monday. Monday, fine. What time should we say? Uh, two o'clock. Mm. Two o'clock, OK. Yeah. Can we uh, go on to your flat afterwards and have a chat? Right, yeah. Uh, where is the betting shop? It's uh, Beswick's Northfield Road. Glamwell. At two o'clock. Right. Monday. And can we also say the same time next Friday here for a chat? Yeah. OK, there's just a... a form I'd like you to fill out. That explains the unit and the sort of work we do, if you'd like to read that. I'm just doing here, this is a daily record sheet I'd like you to keep during the next week mm. of your gambling habits. OK, and you just tick off there the amount of... Uh, the amount of urges you get, the number of visits, etc. Is it that clear? Oh, yeah, 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 I can do that, because I go every day, like. Yeah. Now, before you go, is there anything you'd like to ask me, any burning questions you've got? Mm. Well, just wondering how long it's all going to take, like. Yeah. Well, that... I know it sounds obvious, but it's... Depends on yourself, how hard you're prepared to work and how hard I'm prepared to work, yeah? Uh, I'm not going to say a definite time. Uh, might be six to eight weeks, and if after eight weeks we weren't getting anywhere, we might think about calling it a day. So we're talking in terms of weeks, yeah? Oh, right. Mm. Oh, OK, right. It's all right, isn't it? All we've got to do is fill those forms in. Yeah. In a couple of weeks, it'll be all right, won't it? Sure. Yeah. I'll tell you what, I'd better go down Jimmy's, eh? Straighten it out with him about Monday. All right? Yeah, OK, don't be late.
Got our own food with us. Cook it all ourselves. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I don't fancy all that garlic and all that, you know, oily stuff there. Turns me off, that does. Don't nice you? cup of tea, this. I think I'll have another one. What are you Not till September. Mm. So we've got a lot of time to plan and everything and get some shopping and all that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You've got to look smart for your daily brawl, haven't you? Oh, it's three weeks. Three weeks? Yeah. Well, it's not. I don't think we'll go two weeks, didn't we? No. How's always getting three weeks already? Well, it gives us time to plan everything, doesn't it? Plan? Plan what? Well, we've got to work out a route, haven't we? Where are we going? Yeah, that's a couple of quid. I've got to go out. I ain't got any change. I've only got that five here, Clemmy. Give us a five back then. I'll give it back to you tomorrow. Marvellous. I'll give you a five. You're always worrying about money, and then you go and lose it. What's the point in giving you anything if you're going to lose it? Come on, let's have a look here. Don't be stupid. He's not there, is he? Come on, let's have a look. Marvellous, isn't it, eh? I'm always moaning about money, and when I give you a five, what do you do? You go and lose it. Eh? I'll see you, Shell. Sure. There, is it? I don't know. I don't know what's the matter with you. I've gone mad lately. Throwing money away like that. I don't know. It's amazing, isn't it? Where's it gone? I mean, how can you lose a fiver like that? I've just given it to you. There you are, though. It's gone. Mm-hmm. 
How are you? I'll get that. Uh, tea, please. Can I join you? Yes. <laughs> You're looking very dolly today. You don't look too bad yourself. You keeping busy? Mm-hmm. Are you glad you came to the uh, ivory tower? Yes. And you? Uh, I'll tell you that in ten years, okay? Hmm. You pace yourself, do you? Actually, I was thinking of uh, going to the States. On holiday? Yeah, to work, to the West Coast, to Stanford or somewhere like that. Yeah. Had a guy in today that... Uh, might interest you. A gambler. Oh, what's a gambler doing coming to you? Oh, we are allowed to peek at them now and again, little glimpse, you know, fish to the seals. Well, no, I didn't mean that. I meant it's unusual, isn't it? But at the surface. Yeah, yeah. He uh, stood up in court and said uh, he wanted help and we got him probation and forensic. Oh. I mean, he's a typical GA. It's all. I'm a compulsive gambler. Oh, it, the, the betting shops are filthy. I can't go on. I'm a shit to my wife and all the usual stuff. And the usual aggression as well. What are you going to do with them, hmm? Well, we haven't uh, made up our minds yet. We'll decide on that later. You haven't been round to my flat yet, have you? No. Let's come round for a meal sometime. Where do you live? Dulwich. Don't. Uh, what's wrong with that? It's just that my analyst lives in Dulwich. Does he? I thought all analysts lived in Hampstead. She lives in Dulwich. Oh, she? Oh, sorry, sorry, she. Well, are you inviting me or not? Yeah, yeah. Uh, what's a good day? Oh, Friday. Tell you what, I'll come to you after I've seen my analyst. Wonderful, yeah. I'll write down the address. I'll do a Jonathan special. Nice uh, rump steak or something. Oh, I don't eat steak. You're a vegetarian as well. Afraid so. So it's uh, down to the rabbit food and the cheese then, eh? You wasn't at the dentist, was you? Bunking off. What do I put? Toes off school because you're in the dentist. Sorry, I was away from school. Because you went to the dentist. Right. Now, I mean it, Terry. Don't come asking me for a note anymore, right? You're supposed to be at school, so be there. I don't want any more aggravation. I've got enough of your father telling me lies all the time. Do you hear? That's the last time. I don't want you turning out like him. And stop laughing, it's not a laughing matter. You're supposed to be at school, now you be there. All right?
cup of tea. Watch ya. Take this stinking thing with you. You're not having any air pistol. I had an air pistol one. Used to go shooting with my Uncle Jim. Where? Over the canal. What'd you shoot? Rats. Used to blow their heads off. They used to run round, headless, and leap up in the air. Used to be alive? No, I suppose it's the nerves like. Like chickens. And we used to pick them up. Well, I didn't like them, Jim did. He'd pick up anything. And fry them in the canal, you know, swing them round and let them go. And slowly, like, they'd fill up. And their stomachs would swell, like that. Then we used to go bang, shoot them in the stomach. Guts everywhere. Smart. Yeah. And as they sunk, we used to sing, like, salute them. Da 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 American rats, were You're not having an air pistol. Stop telling all those stupid stories. Never mind, eh? Yeah. Have a cup of quid. Yeah, right. See ya. Don't you be too late. Where is it then? You couldn't leave it earlier, could you? Not for five minutes. As soon as we got back, you was in there. Does it look like it's such soon? all that stuff at the hospital then. Oh, I'm really going to try this time. Yeah, as soon as we got back, you were in there, weren't you? You think it's all right? You can come home, slip Terry a few quid, and you think that's all right? I don't know how you managed to walk out of the betting shop with money still in your pocket. Look, here's another fiver, right? That's a tenner I've given you today. See if you can lose that one. Right, don't want it? Right, I'll have it. What are you trying to say to me? Oh, God! You'll never give up! Never, never, never! Go! No. Cheers. Glad to see you this morning. What is that? Thought you'd have been in a padded cell. You can get that kettle on double quick. My mouth's like the inside of a fireman's boot. You water in that kettle? Well, have a look. Yeah, 
that's all right. Well, how'd you get on at the shrinks? Oh, all right. He said they're, uh... He said he was going to work it out with me. And he gave me some forms to fill in. Yeah, then, what, he laid you on the couch and started swinging a watch in front of you? No, he didn't do anything like that. Well, didn't he take a bud test or get one of those lights when they shine in your eye? No. Well, he wears a saucer on his head with a band. <laughs> no. Well, he no, always do that. No, this bloke didn't do that. No. No. Well, he must have given you a tablet or something, put you asleep. <laughs> no, no, no. He just talked to me for a bit. You sure you went to the right place? Yeah. <laughs> That's you what he said. Well, then what? Well, I mean, after that, he must have examined you, like, with a thing on your chest and... No, no. He said, he said, what I'd like to do, he said, he said, uh, I'd like to watch your bet. <laughs> You're kidding. <laughs> no. That's what he said. What does he want to watch your bet for? What does he want to get a few tips? <laughs> no, he said, I want to watch your bet, you see. And uh, uh, could I watch your bet this Monday afternoon? What, you want the afternoon off? Mon this Monday afternoon off, yeah. <laughs> but that's instead of Friday? No, 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 I've got to go Friday as well. And no. Thursday with a probation officer? Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, well, I've got to do that. That's, oh, that's separate, like. I've got an idea you're being conned. How old's the bloke? He's about 30-something. You must have seen his apprentice. You couldn't have seen the right man. No, no, that was him. You sure you didn't go to the vets? No. I'll tell you what, when you've finished your tea, I think you'd better get out in the yard and do some work while you've got the chance. Sorry I'm late, I got uh, caught up around the back there. OK? Right. You ready to start? Yeah. OK, then uh, what I'd like to do is, uh, if you'd like to bet just normally, just go for normal betting session, bet on a horse, and then leave the shop, OK? OK. Fine, now I'll stand in the corner and take the notice of me. Yeah, right. pretend I'm not there. Right. You understand? Yeah. Sure? Uh, 
something for me actually how would you feel about going in the shop and uh, picking out a horse yeah and going up to the counter and putting your money down on the counter and picking up walking it up walking out and uh, leaving the shop where will you be I don't know where would you want me to be um... Well, you, you better be inside. Yeah, but uh, don't forget that the further I am away from you, the more you will have achieved. Yeah, I don't think I'd do it, though, if you were out here. No, I'll take your point. OK. Now, you understand what we're going to do? Yeah. Yeah, you're going to go in there, you're going to put your... you're going to pick a horse out, you're going to put your money down on the counter, count two to yourself, pick up the money, Turn around and walk out the shop. And I'll be right with you. Okay. You right. understand? Yeah, yeah, right. What do you want me to put on it? Mm, whatever you want. Uh, don't make it too difficult for yourself. But... 50p? Yeah. Let's get this one on. I did well there, didn't I? Yeah, you did fine. Yeah, I didn't think I could do that, you know? Uh-huh. You, uh, surprised yourself. Yeah. You tell Cheryl about that, won't you? Well, maybe you tell her. Do I believe it? Watch yourself round here. There's a lot of dogs. Uh, you understand, Mr. Chester, uh, that I'm coming round to look at the, the house in the same way as we looked at the betting shop, yeah? Yeah. So I can get an idea of, of what goes on and uh, it'll be useful for me in l later sessions. Yeah, well, it's, you won't expect too much, will you, like? You know, because uh, I've got to do it out and that, you know? Yeah, yeah, don't worry. It's OK. Come in. Go through there. Yeah. I'll make a cup of tea, eh? Fine, yeah. Right. Um, can I give a hand with anything? No, that's all right. It's a bit dark in here, isn't it? Forty quid. Now. Uh, so she's in such a hurry in the morning, she don't wash the cups up properly. Yeah. Is this your lad? Yeah, it's Terry. If you don't have any time, you see, she don't get any time there to clean them up properly, you see. Uh, what's she that? work in the morning. The cups here. Not too clean, but... No, it should be all right, though. Yeah. Do you watch much TV? Yeah. A bit, you know. What sort of programmes? Uh. Well, I like to Star Trek. So I can see that before I go to the dogs, like. Uh-huh. Yeah. 
I like all those thriller ones, you know, late at night, I'll get to watch them when I come back from the dogs. Yeah. Shannon's mod. Oh, Boney. I like Boney. Did you have Boney? Yeah. It's oh, the, it's uh, good. I like that. Good. Is it okay if I oh, have a wander? Too much tea in there, I reckon. Everything okay in there, Mr. Chester? Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm alright. Is it okay if I have a wander down there? Yeah. What are they, uh, bedrooms? Yeah. I like the black and white minstrel show. I like the singing. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know why they put all that stuff on their face for. I mean, you know they're not black, don't you? And that's the front door. Yeah. You just used the back door, yeah? Yeah, that's right, yeah. Why is that? Well, we are, uh, Tave's using the key, you know, and just come round here straight into the kitchen here, like, you know, by the time you've got the key out, you know, you're here, aren't you? Just bore that spot. Oh! Okay. Thought about that. You all right? Yeah. Shell does that a lot. I always laugh, you know, when Shell does it. Okay? Right, yeah. What are the, uh, the good things about living here, Mr. Chester? Well, the rent's low. Yeah. And what are the, uh, the bad things? Well, there's no bathroom. Uh-huh. Lavatory's out the back, you know. Yeah, do you have any pets, Mr Chester? No. Don't like them much. Here we are, then. Oh, do you take sugar? Uh, no, not for me. Oh. No, it's fine. Better have that one. Yeah. Sorry about the cracks, like, you know, Cheryl, like, she slings them around in the sink, you know. Mm. Told her about it. Do you remember the uh, forms, Mr. Chester? Yeah. You were going to fill them out for me. That's right, yeah, we did it Sunday, me and Cheryl. Good. Yeah. Have you got them here? Um, yeah. Oh, yeah, they're up there. Now. That's great. I like the films, you know, the old films on the telly. They're good, aren't they? Uh, if you uh, had a magic wish about this place, what would it be? I wish I wasn't here. <laughs> yeah. I wish I was somewhere else, like, you know. I've always fancied a big house in the country, you know. Uh-huh. Like, you know, one of those big sort of square places, you know, with a big balcony, you know, and a lake, you know, you can look at from the balcony and uh, peacocks. Yeah. You know, with their tails that open up, all those colours. Yeah. Have you uh, ever been anywhere like that? No. Hello, Mrs. Chester. No. <clears throat> How are you, okay? Yeah, fine, thanks. There's a cup of tea in the pot. Sorry. We've had uh, a pretty interesting day, haven't we? Yeah, I, I went into the betting shop today and uh, uh, I wrote out the bet. I went up to the counter and uh, um, I didn't place it. I walked out the shop. That's good, is it? Yeah, that's good. I think it's good, don't you? Well, yeah, but you with him, won't you? I mean, when he's by himself, you he might not be able to do that. Yeah, OK, that's a, that's a very important point, Mrs Chester. Um, do you remember at the hospital we...
talked about setting your husband tasks uh, and if he achieves them to to give him a boost yeah to say things like uh, fine great that's really good do you remember that yeah. uh, well this really is a one of those moments isn't it yeah, I, I didn't know you'd start it. Fine, yeah. Okay, well, if we say that uh, this is day one, we start the, the treatment from now, for argument's sake. Yeah? Oh, yeah. Come in, Mrs. Chester. Join us. Take a seat. And your husband and I were talking about uh, my problem, that uh, if we're not the gambling on the head, yeah, we have to replace it with something. Uh, and it might be relevant to... One more minute. knocked back a bit by your reaction to his achievement today. Did you not feel that? Yeah, I suppose he was. It's obvious that your husband takes a certain amount of notice of you and what you do. Yeah? Yeah, I didn't realise. Yeah, I've, uh, I've got a bit of a problem, actually. I've got to be shooting off. Do you know how long your husband's going to be? Not really, no, but I could knock on the pipe. What do you mean? Well, the toilet's, like, in the corner of the kitchen. Well, you go outside, but it's in the corner. I can knock on the pipe. Yeah, do you want to show me what you mean? I'll just have a quick word with him on the way out, OK? We should be able to start the treatment, yeah? We right. might make a start on Friday. So, that's it then. Thanks for showing me around your house. Thanks very right. much, Mrs Chester. Um, do you want me to come on Friday? Uh, no, uh, just be with Mr Chester if that's OK. Any questions, Mr Chester? Bye then.
thought I'd pop in. It's lovely to see you. Dad's still at work? Yes, he'll be in soon. Here's Martin. Hello, Martin. Hello. Good to see you. Yeah, and you. We don't see much of each other, considering your cousins. What are you doing here? Oh, I just brought a blouse round for one of your girlfriends. What do you mean? It's for Sonia. What do you want to buy a blouse for Sonia? Well, I thought I'd buy her a little present. OK. Yeah. You look tired. Doesn't he look tired, Martin? Yeah, he looks terrible. Are you hungry? No, I'm going on up to David's. I'll make you a snack. It won't take me a minute. How's Estelle, OK? Yeah, fine, yeah. And, uh Tracy, yeah, she's all right. They're both all right, yeah. What are you doing with yourself these days? You still done the market? Yeah, yeah. Is she making a bob or two? Earning a living, yeah. How are you doing? I mean, I've had it up to here. Yeah, well, I'm going to do things for you, you know what I mean? Yeah, and, and for me and for Terry. Yeah, I'm going to do Because I don't want him going Terry. the same way as you. All right, this is it. This is your last chance. I've had enough. time and I'm out and I'm taking Terry with me. It's all I ever get. This is it. This is the last time. No more. This is your last chance. Where are you going? Chess, where are you going? I need you, you see. Oh, yeah, well. Good night. After two weeks, they'll have you in for ten days. They do all experiments. They put all these pads on your head, all wires attached to them. That's okay. the truth. I'm not kidding, it's what they told me. And they give you little pictures of jockeys and betting officers and betting slips. And every time you show a bit of joy looking at them, they give you a shot of electricity. And they turn the power on more until they cure you. Who told you this? The doctors, solicitors, they're all at my golf club. They all know what they're talking about. And if that don't work, then they have you in for ten days to operate. They cut you just about there. And they take out a little piece of brain, because they know where it is. The bit that's aggravating you and causing you to keep betting and doing your money. And then when you come round, you could be as good as anything, or you could be in cloud cuckoo land.
the best thing that could happen is that every time you went into a betting shop, something awful happened. A terrible thing actually happened to you. Now, that would be the best way. But, of course, we can't do that. It's, uh, it's cloud cuckoo land. It can't be fixed, yeah? So the next best thing is to do it in the mind's eye, in, uh, in the imagination up here, yeah? We picture it. Now, what we find works, if we, if we imagine the really the most exciting thing about betting, and we put that next door to something that's, uh, that's really bad, something that makes you feel awful, makes you feel sick, really turns you off. We put those two things together and we find that the bad thing rubs off on the good thing. So it's practically the same as something really bad happening to you if you went into the betting shop. Do you understand? Yeah. What, what can you give me that is really exciting, that gives you a real turn on? They're off. You know, when, when the commentator says they're off at Kempton, you know, the, the guy on the, who does the commentary in the betting shop. Let's go through it, shall we? From, from where shall we start? As if you're there now, if you'd like to close your eyes and uh, yeah. imagine it for me, picture yeah. it. Well, I, 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 I'm listening to the, the odds being called out by yeah. the, the, the guy doing the commentary, you know. Yeah. And, and uh, I time it, you know, and I go up to the counter, you know, the place to bet, just a few minutes before the off, you know, so I can get the... I can leave it to the last moment. Yeah. And then, as I place the bet, I get the off. I can imagine well, myself there now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I'm waiting, you know. You're waiting for the off? Yeah, yeah. And then I place my bet. I give the bloke the bet, like. And... And he says, they're off. And I get me card, he gives me the card, like, and I've got it. And I listen. Uh, and the race light, you know. Right, that's, uh, that's just the sort of thing we're after. It's very visual. Uh, I'd like now to talk about the sort of thing that really turns you off. Something that makes you feel really bad, a bad image for us. Can you give me a hand here to suggest something? Hmm. Hmm. Don't like going to bed. What, going to sleep? Right. Why is that? Well, I, it's dreamlike, you know. It's to... Tell me about it. Uh, describe it to me. Well, it's about, um... About this, uh... uh Farm in New Zealand. Uh huh. Mm. Yeah. Mountains and and the, and the ri river and flowers and things and uh, and there's this woman, woman who, who uh, looks after me. I'm young, you know, only a kid like. A young lad, yeah. yeah. And this this bloke, there's a bloke who um, he don't like me and he, he takes me away around one night, you know, and uh, um, he takes me down to the docks. Uh -huh. And uh, he, he puts me on a ship, like, on my own. There's nobody on the ship. It's all, it's all dark, like, and, uh, um... He just leaves me there, like. Is there ship. anyone else there? Just this guy? Well, it's, it's, it's a woman. There's a woman there, the, the woman who loves me, like. She's, uh, she's there crying, like. OK, that's, uh, that's OK. That's very interesting. Well, uh, we'll come back to that. Can we talk about something else that might be uh, that's a real turn off in that sense? Get you really going inside? Well, what? What did you say? Sorry, what did you say? Is there uh, something else that really turns you off, makes you feel bad? Well, it's, it's uh, Jimmy. 
Jimmy, like, driving down in the morning in his Jaguar. I don't like that at all. Who's Jimmy? No, I don't like it. He's got his Jaguar. He's a, he's a bloke who owns the yard who oh, I yeah. work for. Yeah, Jimmy, yeah, yeah, I don't like him. I don't like the Jaguar. What, you... Why don't you like him? Well, I hate it, you know. You hate him? Yeah, he's... Uh-huh. Yeah, he's... Got his flash. You know, I, w- I want to kick it in. You haven't done that yet? No. Uh-huh. And I'll do it one night, smash it all up. Yeah? Yeah, I want him to come out one morning out of his house and find it all smashed in. And you're going... Can... be hiding behind a bush somewhere so I can see his face. <laughs> you'd, you'd like that, would that give you a big kick? You'd go mad. <laughs> would he? Yeah. Yeah, OK. Is there anything else that's perhaps to do with the gambling? That would be a real... Real bonus for us if we could find something connected with the gambling, a direct result. When I was remanded, yeah. When you're on remand? When you shut the door on me. I was on my own. That's good. That's the sort of thing we're looking for, yeah? Yeah, I felt lonely, like, very sick, lonely. Yeah? Yeah. Uh, Do you want to uh, describe the cell? Alice, it was a... it was a... Dirty, dirty green, dirty floors. Yeah? Dirty wooden thing in the corner, fitted in the corner. Like that. That's it. Do you want to see it now for us? And, uh... <sighs> in that enamel bowl yeah. on the top. Yeah. But, but, and underneath, on the, on the second shelf, was a jerry. That's the, uh... Where you go to the toilet, yeah? Yeah. Does it stink? Yeah, yeah, it smells like cabbages. What's the rest of the room look like? Any furniture yes. in there? I want to go to the lavatory. You mean you want to go to the lavatory now? Yeah? Does it make you feel bad just talking about it? Mr. Chester? I've got, to, I've got to go to the lavatory now. Uh-huh. Fine, I understand, but, uh, from... The... I want to get away! Yeah, fine. It might be a good idea if we just... If you want to get away, if you just hung on in for a while until it got a bit easier, because every time you go away, it's going to get worse. So if you, if you just stay with it for a bit, can you do that? Yeah. Is it okay to sit there? You feel fine? Yeah. Good. Well done. That's a good move. Uh, I'd just like to talk a bit about this going to the lavatory. Is it, does it happen a lot? Well, I, I go when I get mad all about the horses, you know, when I, I don't know which one to bet on them. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, then I go, I go into the loo and I sit there and, I, and it calms me down. Right. I can think about it, you know. I, see, yeah. I sort it out. I know, I know what to do then. It clears your mind. Yeah. That's very interesting because... Uh, in my situation, when I was studying in medical, medical school, one of the places I liked to do, uh, study was in the John, with the medical books. That happened to me, so it's, that's very interesting. I've done it in my trousers. You remember that uh, gambling client of mine I was telling you about? Yes. Well, he surpassed himself today. What do you mean? Well, I'll be straight with you. He, uh, messed his pants. What were you doing to him? Well, I was just explaining covert sensitisation. And he got up to leave. I told him that it would be best if he hung on in. You're putting pressure on him. You mean, was I being a hardliner? Were you being a hardliner? <laughs> well, there's a bit more to it than that, Sally. I mean, I went to his flat the other day. And he got up in the middle and went to the toilet. Mm-hmm. And I had to talk him out of it. And I said, I'm straight with him. I said, uh, if he didn't come out in five minutes, I'd have to leave. And he came out. 
should have left him there. I mean, maybe he wanted to stay there. We're not going to have a hard time tonight, are we, Sally? No. Good. Can I help? It's good. You like it? I think it's excellent, it is. You should wear it to the hospital. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Give your patients a treat. Yeah. Where's your loo? Uh down the corridor, second door on the left. I'm just going to lock myself in. I'll give you half an hour and I'll send for the nurse. What are you going to do with your gambling patient? Hmm? Well, I haven't uh, quite decided yet, but what I thought we might do is uh, we'd uh, whip him off to behaviour therapy and uh, get the thumb screws on him. Uh, then we could stick a few electrodes up his bum and uh, that should knock it out of him. Uh, if that doesn't work, uh, We'll take him around the back of the building and uh, beat it out of him. It should take a couple of hours. Alternatively, of course, we could shunt him across to psychotherapy and uh, you could talk to him for a couple of years. That's very funny. <laughs> OK, then, if you, if you really want to know what we're going to do, I'll tell you. I mean, you know as well as I do that... Uh, there are some clients you can indulge and some you have to be tough with, right? And this character is right down our street. So you can just smack his bottom every time he shits himself. Very good. <laughs> you just think we're a bunch of fascists down in behaviour therapy, don't you, really? No, I didn't say that. OK, OK. Well, if it comes to that, we might think you're a bunch of namby-pamby left-wing intellectuals in psychotherapy. I mean, it isn't a question of being hard on the one hand or being gentle on the other hand. It's a question of understanding, isn't it? OK, yeah. I mean, you know where I am. We all agree on basic things, but what we're really talking about is results, Sal, OK? We all know that. Where are you going? I've had enough. I'm clearing the table. Could I have some more lettuce before you go? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Coffee? No. Thank you. Anyone serving you? No, I've been here ten minutes. Who do you want?
going on? <clears throat> Hi. Um, doing the uh, two hours, and that's all you got? You must be joking, ain't you, Chess? I've just been out sweating for two hours delivering a load. You sure it ain't me working for you? You must be taking me for a fool, ain't you? You might be punting on the National Health, but you can't punt on me. I'll do you a favour and get you a job, allow you two days off a week to go and see the probation officer, then to go and see this trick cyclist who ain't doing you no good. What? what? I can't understand you. What? Yeah. There it is, isn't it? That's what you're doing, studying bleeding form. I'll cure you of that. A kick up the arse right out that yard. Now you better look lively, Chess. And pull your socks up, because I ain't going to stamp it much longer, I tell you. But don't worry about that. Get in the office. There was a customer out there when I first come in. No one serving him. Ten minutes he's been there. He could have done the till and gone. Now you get in the office. I've got to go. Now you get in the office and wait there until I come back. And leave this. And leave that, for Christ's sake. Doing here. You must be bleeding mad. Where is it? Get out. Stop you long enough. Get out. Get out. You come back, I'll tear your head off. Uh, I wonder if I could have a quick word with you about. Uh... Our customer, um, Mr. Robert Chester from, uh, from Michael M. Dura sent him across from forensic. Oh, the gambler. Yeah, uh, I've had the first assessment at the hospital and uh, the behaviour test. Uh, that was okay in the betting shop. And then we had an assessment at his flat. Uh, and while we were there, um, he uh, locked himself in the lavatory <laughs> in the John. And uh, I talked him out of it and uh, said it would be a good idea if he came up. It was fine. Had a second assessment back here at the hospital, and he got up to go again, have another uh, time in the loo. So uh, I persuaded him to stay, and uh, we thought it might be a good idea if he sat through the session, yeah? Lo and behold, he uh, messed his pants. Mm. Uh, and I thought possibly it might be a good idea to transfer the target definition to uh, maybe locking himself in the lavatory yeah. or messing, yeah. messing his pants, whatever. Yeah. I just wanted to see if that yeah. yes, You taped as nothing physical and neurological. Yeah, yeah, I did. Uh, I played at the doctors and yeah. I did the full uh, rectal examination and it seems uh, definitely yeah. in our territory. Yeah, well, I'll transfer, yes. As long as you've got his consent. Uh, yeah, I haven't got it yet, but uh, I, I will put that to him, sure, yeah. yeah. Is that all? Yeah, that's it. I just wanted to check it with you. Yeah, well, we must have another game sometime. 
Uh, yeah, uh, I'll book the court, okay? Yeah. Uh, when's best? Uh, Saturday. Yeah, fine, fine. Good. Okay. Okay. Bye. Bye.